Okay, so this is how you use the scale function in Revit. So first of all, you need something to scale. So I'm going to bring in floor plan. So I'm gonna import image. Uh, my image is it on my desktop. So it's a floor plan. I'm gonna place it. I'm gonna do initial measurement. So yeah, this is roughly 53, 54. So it's, it's almost the right size, but it's not. So the first step is to go to modify. So this is your scale, but we want to select the object that we want to scale. So I'm clicking on it, it's selected. So now I'm gonna go grab my scale tool. I'm gonna to find a spot to scale it. So that looks good. I'm gonna drag, so that was one click. And then I click again and nothing seems to happen, but at that point I'm going to type in 58 and I'm gonna hit enter, and then I'm gonna measure it. So it was 53 or 54, and now I measure it, and it's pretty darn close. Okay, so let's, let's try that again. So I'm gonna mess up the scale. So let's click on the object. Let's go to scale. Let's try it this way. So I'm gonna click on here, I've got it. It's trying to find where my second point is. I click. I'm going to type in 15 just to make it smaller. And so that works. So now I'm going to measure that distance and it should be 15. And it's pretty close. Okay, so let's pick another spot. So let's say that this is 21 feet by 14. So I have nothing selected. So I come in, I click once, I select it, I go to scale, and I'm gonna take the, the longest part of the room. So you can see that it's measuring. I click the second point. I can zoom in if I want. Try to get the line straight. I click, I'm gonna type 21, and I'm gonna hit enter. So now I can measure that room to see if it's right. So it's 21. So what's the rule? You probably want to use the, the, the longest dimension. Okay, so in this case, it's 58. So if I want to just adjust it, I can click the object. I can click on scale. I can select my first point. Select my second point. Over right, so 58, and then hit enter. And now, just verify it. Okay, so that seems to work. I'm going to leave you at this point. Good luck, have fun with that.